Film Me Underwater is the closest thing we've got as human beings who are based on planet Earth to feel what it's like to be in outer space. You know, if you ever need to go to a happy place to relax, I'll often imagine that I'm on a scuba dive and I'll never get bored of that feeling. I think as a child I always imagined what it would feel like to be next to some of the biggest animals that have ever lived. I've never been in a position where I felt so small and insignificant and you're merely just entering it as a visitor. You basically have a three-dimensional space that you can move in any direction. There's some really small macro-based animals that I film to the biggest whales you know, on the planet. It's not just about the visual optics that you're thinking about, you're also thinking about the size and weight and how it's distributed. Obviously the deeper you go, the darker it gets, and also there's a huge loss of colour. And often we'll use underwater lights. I like to position them in a way that it's recreating daylight. I'm zooming in and out there and I'm focusing with this, so it's got, I've got fine controls at my fingertips. The image is projected through the monitor that sits in here and then any menu function. Every single subject, every animal is completely different in a different environment and you've just got to be at all times ready for that one moment. I'm often in the middle of nowhere. Some of the most remote locations, am I going to be able to lug a massive heavy zoom lens that weighs three kilos on my shoulder for the next two weeks trekking through jungles? Probably not. I've been working with Fujinon MK lenses for the last couple of years. They're both coming at under a kilo which is really amazing for a cine zoom lens. And it retains some fantastic cinematic glass. That is a really rare thing. When you're doing a lot of handheld camera work, there's a lot of physical trekking in some really tough environments to work on. Through jungles, you're working out at sea in rough conditions. The main cabin of the boat holds all three of the guys and somehow I've got to squeeze in. I think I'm going to be sleeping on the floor here. You don't want something that's going to be massively weighing you down and throwing you around. You want something that's quite rock solid. I don't have the luxury of having a two camera cross shooting scenario. So you do have to cover the wide shot, you have to come in for the close ups and you're constantly moving around your subjects. Working with the scientists that we filmed on Blue Planet Live, they are the unsung heroes really. And they are flying the flag of wildlife that doesn't have a voice of its own. We wanted to make them look like heroes, they're conservation heroes. And I wanted to make something that was glossy and you know was elevated. It wasn't just kind of running around actuality. It was something that had a really nice finish to it. They're under threat from industry, people and pollution. So to be able to go and tell their stories in, in a world awash with negative stories, it was an amazing experience to be involved with these really positive people who are doing such good work for the, for the world. Even to this day, if I'm scuba diving over a reef, you know, I'll still have that sense of wonder and that childlike joy of what I remember seeing for the first time when I first started swimming and scuba diving and seeing these things underwater. Hopefully it's something that I'll always keep on doing for the rest of my life. <laughs>